when I paint, I, I, I paint from the subconscious point of view. I, I think it's a more emotional point of view um, instead of the literal, which can become contrived. Um, I like to paint on the ground in a 360 degree angle so I can see the whole canvas. Um, it's almost like I'm, I'm part of the painting. Um, I, 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 when I paint, I never come out and go, oh, this is what I'm going to paint. I have an idea, and and I think a lot of times it's, I'm almost a conduit for a lot of emotions, and I think that's what gives the, gives the paintings power and, and, and emotion, and, and that's why they're so different. I mean, the paintings are all very different in, in, in the sensibility of, like, you can't coin it in one group. I mean, it's cubism, it's realism, it's... it's expressionism, so I've coined a phrase abstract emotionalism, which is basically what it is. Um, and painting the way I do, I think, gives the paintings life. Even when they're gone and when they're sold, they still live because of the paint still bleeds off the canvas. And, has a life of its own. Um, I think that makes it different, and, and each piece is unique um, because it's about purity and an unbridled emotion that, that, that that's untapped, and you put it down on, on canvas, and it becomes alive.